So here in Augusta, Georgia, we wrapped up September with an unprecedented storm. Hurricane Helene was here in Augusta, Georgia. But I'm here to bring you our monthly real estate market update. So today I'm going to be reviewing with you how the market performed in the month of September despite everything that went on in our area. So hey everybody, I'm Delrisa Rollerson. I'm Augusta's Certified Relocation Specialist and welcome to the original Living in Augusta, Georgia channel. So if you're looking to buy, if you're looking to sell, or if you even want to invest in the Augusta, Georgia area, maybe you just want to learn about living in Augusta, then you're definitely in the right place because here on this channel, you're going to find exclusive information that you are just absolutely not going to find anywhere else. And it's going to help you stay informed about our real estate market here in Augusta. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when we upload new video. So if you need personal real estate assistance, feel free to reach out to me you can give me a call send me a text an email or schedule a zoom my contact information is right here on the screen for you so we're going to dive into and we're going to look and see how the augusta market fared in september so as i share the numbers for richmond and columbia counties you're going to notice that the data displayed on the screen is here it's going to help you visualize really what the market trends are doing i'm going to have charts it's going to show you the number of homes new listings how long the homes are staying on the market. So for Richmond County, which includes Augusta, Hetzibah, and parts of Martinez, we had a total of 121 homes that were sold in September. That was down from the previous month, showing that the market is cooling a little bit as we approach the year end, that's normal. We had 201 new homes that were listed and 623 homes available overall, indicating while new home listings are coming in, inventory is stabilizing. So for Columbia County covering Evans, Grovetown, Martinez, we had 661 homes on the market in September with 202 new listings. So sales dropped here a little bit with 168 homes sold, but that's typical for this time of year. Look at the list to sold price ratio. This tells us how close homes are selling to their listing price. So in Richmond County, the ratio was 95.8% and 97.2% in Columbia County. So sellers, they're still doing well despite the seasonal dip. So you may be wondering how Augusta compares to the national trend. So right now, a lot of the areas across the United States, they're seeing sharp declines in the home sales and rising prices. But here in Augusta, we're remaining relatively affordable with steady home values and strong inventory. So this is great news for you as a buyer or an investor because you get more home for your money here compared to like the bigger metro areas like Washington, Chicago. Plus our homes are selling close to the asking price. So that's really a good solid market for our sellers too. So either way, buying or selling, you're doing really good here in our area. So if you're relocating, this is why Augusta stands out because our housing market is not seeing the same volatility that the other areas are seeing. It's making it more stable for uh, this to be a place called home for you. So for our buyers, if you're deciding between Richmond and Columbia County, here are some key numbers especially for you. So in Richmond County, the median sales price for September was $239,000, slightly higher than the last month, and the days on market was 71. So in Columbia County, the average sales price was a little bit over $363,000 with our days on market as 83. So the homes are taking a little bit longer to sell in Columbia County. That's not unusual because it's a higher price market in Columbia County versus Richmond County. So September is known for the slower sales because of the back to school season and the upcoming holidays but inventory is remaining strong here, which means we have less competition and potentially better deals for our buyers out there. So whether you're buying or selling, the market is still favorable in both our counties. Our builders are adding more inventory and they're offering incentives. So if you're thinking about relocating to Augusta, now is a great time to act. The first step in getting ahead of the market is to schedule a Zoom call with me. Then what I'll do, I'll create a personalized relocation plan for you and I'll navigate you through both Richmond and Columbia counties and I'll navigate you to something that makes sense for you. So I can't help you unless you reach out. So give me a call, send me a text, an email. You can schedule a Zoom 
click the link below, you'll see the um, link to my um, Zoom for my calendar, and then I'll go ahead and assist you. And then also, if you don't see a time that works, go ahead and send me a text and we'll schedule something for you. So thanks again for watching the original Living in Augusta, Georgia channel. I'm Delarisa Rollerson, Augusta Certified Relocation Specialist. Now be sure to check out the next video because YouTube selected a video just for you, specifically from my channel. So check it out. Thanks again and see you over in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,